What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another On the Farm. And this time, starting off with a little bit of drone footage for you guys. We are in, or not in, over the new pumpkin patch for next year. This is on the other side of the farm, basically from where we've been planting the pumpkins. Over kind of behind or next to the grain bins, whatever you want to say. And uh, we've taken... I believe that was 60 feet from the grass out that we marked off and uh, put some posts out there so the farmers would know. We did talk to them, of course. This is ground that Dad owns. However, he has been renting this to the farmers for many, many years to go ahead and farm. We're going to have them farm the pumpkin patch that we've been growing in for numerous years, and we are taking this land as our new pumpkin patch for next year. Because if you guys recall, pretty sure we had a fungus in the soil. And uh, that had a lot to do with our pumpkins just being crap this year, basically. So there's that. Anyway, Dad's out here trying to harrow it down. The farmers worked it. And for farm ground, it was really good. But we're trying to get it as level as possible uh, <laughs> with the harrow and the Power King 1614. However, that dirt was so loose, very, you know, soft, loose, whatever you want to call it. We did not get a rain on it after they worked it. And uh, basically, we made it worse. <laughs> so this tractor, Dad's on, the reason we're not using the 995 is we knew it would leave big ruts. And so we decided to use the little Power King. I'll talk about that in a second, by the way. Uh, we decided to use the little Power King because it's a lot lighter of a tractor. Won't sink in as much. This dirt was really loose. It didn't really matter. It's It was sinking in quite a bit. You can see we're using one section of Harrow. Um, there's a lot of bean debris here as well. These these were like 70 bushel beans or 65 bushel beans here. Pretty good beans. You have a lot of leftovers, basically. So we're trying to Harrow this out as, and make it as smooth as possible as we can. But it's a whole thing. So you guys notice I keep throwing my leg up on the quote-unquote dash of the Power King here. That tractor does not like to stay full throttle. And when you're harrowing with the drag harrow that I'm using, speed is your friend. So I'm in third gear, and I am put my foot up there basically to keep it full throttle. So I'm just going as fast as I can go. Um, then obviously when I would turn, I would put my foot down to help hold, my, hold me on the tractor put my leg back up there and hit full throttle. I could just lean forward and hold it in full throttle as well with my hand, but it's not as much fun, right? <laughs> not as much fun. So it was very cold and windy this day, so I really don't have much footage for this video. But hey, no video or a video is better than no video, right? So yeah, plus this is very focused on planting the rye. So here's the rye. If you guys don't know, we grow rye we didn't do it this past year, but we're definitely doing it for next year. We grow rye where we plant our pumpkins. When the rye is starting to head out next summer, late spring, summer, we will spray it with Roundup and then roll it down and make like a carpet out there. And what that does is, is a couple things. One, it keeps our weeds down dramatically. It also preserves a lot of moisture. So if we have a dry year, perfect for that. And it just makes a really good bed for the pumpkins to grow in. So we really, we really like it. So dad's on the other power king and he spread all the rye out with the broadcast spreader. And then we're going to get out what we call the rotary hoe. This is a tool that farmers used to use if you would plant something in your fields and get a big rain. And then the, the, basically the ground would make a, like a hard layer, a crust. Uh, you would take this out there and it was many sections wide. Of course, this is one section of rotary hoe many sections wide and you would basically take this across your field and it would break that crust. What we're trying to do with it here is just stir up enough dirt to get that seed in the ground just a little bit. You don't want to bury it too deep. Just get it in the ground enough. So in past years, we used the drag harrow to actually put it in the ground when we had nice clean dirt. I actually prefer to do that over the rotary hoe, but because the dirt was kind of dirty with all the bean debris, we couldn't use the harrow. Then after rotary hoeing it in, you want to compact the soil slightly with our roller and the Power King yet again. So there's the roller rolling away, just saying. 
and it puts these nice grooves down, gets that seed packed in just a little, just enough. You don't want to go crazy with it, just a little bit. And we actually have really good luck with it um, overall. So here's Dad on the tractor, just a rolling like crazy. Uh, the reason we're using that tractor right now is it has a little bit wider tires. You don't sink in as much because we're kind of going for quote finish work here. So there you go. It's done. We planted the rye 2017, 2018. It's done. Hope you guys enjoyed this on the farm. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe with notifications on. It's the little bell button next to subscribe. Make sure it looks like it's ringing. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and toodles.